Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be creating a smooth and realistic bounce effect in After Effects. Let's dive in. First, open After Effects and import your object. Since I've already imported my object, I'll go ahead and create a background. Right-click on the Layers panel, select New, then Solid. I'll choose a dark pink color that complements my object, but feel free to use any background color that suits your project. Now, place the background layer below the object layer. Next, adjust the anchor point of the object, moving it from the center to the bottom. This step is crucial for achieving a natural bounce effect. To animate the bounce, open the position and scale parameters by pressing P for position and S for scale. At the zero mark, add keyframes for both position and scale. Move to the one second mark and add the same keyframes. At around 25 frames, change the position to approximately 852 to create a bouncing motion. To preview a looping effect, press N on your keyboard to set the work area. Next, highlight the position keyframes and press F9, or right-click Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease to smooth out the movement. At the 25 frame mark, unlink the X and Y scale properties. Change Y scale to 29%. Move four frames backward, change X scale to 38%, and Y scale to 54%. Copy these keyframes, Control C, and paste them, Control V, at the 30 frame mark. Now, highlight all the position keyframes and apply Easy Ease to them as well. Preview the animation. You'll see a smooth bouncing effect. But we can make it even better. To make the motion more organic and natural, adjust the scale keyframes so that they are slightly more spaced out. This small tweak makes the animation feel smoother and more realistic. Let's enhance the effect by adding a shadow. Select the ellipse tool and draw an oval shape where the bounce happens. Place it below the object layer and make sure its anchor point is centered. Align the shape evenly with the bouncing object. Now let's create a shadow effect. Go to Effects and Presets, search for Drop Shadow, and apply it to the Ellipse Shape layer. In the Effects Control Panel, check the Shadow Only box. Set Softness to around 78 and adjust the shape as needed. At the 25 frame mark, set the Opacity to 50% and add a keyframe. Move to the 16 frame mark and set the Opacity to 0%. Move to the 34 frame mark and set the opacity to zero. Now, when we preview our animation, we get a smooth and realistic bouncing effect. And there you have it, a simple yet effective bounce animation in After Effects. That's it. If you're looking for more video editing resources and templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Canva, Final Cut, and more, check out our website. I've included a link in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay safe and stay creative.